What's up, YouTube? It's Dirtlog here. Welcome back to some more DN Duel commentary. We got Toon C here, 1266. He's playing Burning Abyss, who just won first turn. Dante. Foolish Burial to Graph, and then that one got him a uh, Sir, and then he normal summoned Squarm. So, standard Burning Abyss turn turn 1 plays. Didn't open the tour guide. So, I guess that's a plus for Emperor 16. So, we got Emperor 16 here at 557. Again, the DN ratings are still relatively low because the format recently just started and we're probably going to be seeing cool put here because the only deck that goes first turn night beam and mst is cool put so he's probably going to play summoner's art to grab him a scout and pay that 800 let's see any second now come on just do it you, know, you already know what deck you're playing man so come on unless you just felt like playing two msts and then doing nothing i mean awesome Come on, I really don't know what's going on, but the heck's going on. Come on, guys. Well, I, I hope you're enjoying. I really do ho hope you're enjoying this. We're just sitting in here, staring at ourselves. This is DN for you. This is freaking DN for you. Oh, it took you that long to summon a disc. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that took forever. You're just going to blind him as T2 and then just sit here for like 10 minutes and then finally decide to summon a monster okay so anyway you better have a good game plan for that because just summoning disc turn one really isn't worth it it's gonna flip vanity's emptiness right now so that's not gonna allow tune c to get off that lovely sir and then he's gonna attack over the disc and vanities will stay since the disc will go to the extra deck again i don't, like looking at your hand i don't know what the heck took so long i mean i know you wanted to clear up that back row but i mean Seriously, I don't know if you had to go to the bathroom or what. But anyway, the duel is continuing now, and now it's back to Emperor 16's turn. So, Toon C wasn't able to go into Down and Magician because of Vanity, so that's kind of unfortunate. And now the Dante, I mean, just a 2500 defense wall is pretty good, but I mean, that 1k attack isn't really going to be putting in that much work. And again, we're just sitting here. I don't know what the heck is going on. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Don't you, don't you know I'm recording? Don't you know I'm freaking recording? So, Emperor 16. He has three cards to work with. What could those three cards be? What could they be? No, one of them's not a sacrifice. Oh, Monarch Stormforth in the main deck. That's gonna... I don't even think that's worth it. Like, Dante's now... You got rid of your emptiness, and now Dante's gonna add back a card... And now carrier. I mean, there's a 2400 beater that can't be targeted by level five or lowers, but I mean, or is unaffected. I keep saying not targeted, but yeah, unaffected by level five and lo or lowers now. He already selected Dante, so Dante's gonna get back something. Yeah, but there's fire like everyone's favorite card, fire like such a such a fair card. He's gonna attack over the Squarm. And end his turn. Okay, so that's pretty anticlimactic play. I mean, all Toon C has to do is just make a Dante attack over the carrier, and that should pretty much be game. I mean, you have a fire like in hand. Like, I don't know why Emperor hasn't scooped this duel up because I just do not see him winning this. I'll, I'll literally bet all my money and all my cards on Toon C. Yeah, because I mean, there's no way you're gonna win this. So Emperor. I don't know if he's new, I mean, he didn't really open that well, but I mean, it took him way too long to just think of this plays. So anyway, thank you guys for watching game number one as always, and we're going to pause the video and wait for game number two to start. Okay guys, we're back, and Emperor decides to go first. Oh yeah, opens up that scout, that's exactly what you need, but anyway, the Watchers have been increasing pretty dramatically lately. I guess the other high-rated duel that was going on ended, so now everyone's going over to this duel so awesome shout out to all these watchers up in here so he's obviously gonna take that scout pay the 800 to add something and then probably set some back row summon a monster equip the sacrifice it's mainly always their first turn play really standard unless they open up the whole nuts with the cat and the scout then they can just go ham for a whole bunch of different plays but yeah that's exactly what he's gonna do just equip sacrifice to a cool put monsters, set some back row, and pass it over to our burning abyss player. 
and again he's taking so okay fine like what took you that long to press the end turn button like come on anyway Toon C's turn let's see if he opened up that tour guide he's gonna upstart he probably hasn't man upstarts the three dollar common still man I guess so two upstarts turn one I don't really know if that's worth it I mean giving cool put that extra 1k life points is definitely something you don't want to do so personally I probably would have sided out upstart against cool put but I mean whatever it's not me dueling but it just it seems like it's not worth it I mean this emperor guy he has so many hits to take I mean that's just free skill drains and more free scout activations and stuff like that so oh that solemn's gonna put in some work but he's probably gonna normal summon a tour guide but even that tour guide I mean who knows what that could do so he special summoned rubric and a cow cab and tried to go for a Virgil gives away probably has a sir in his hand oh <laughs> there you go so he's gonna summon sir ram itself and you cannot get back that Virgil so don't even try because it was not summoned pro oh my god really it was not summoned properly oh my god are you kidding me are you kidding me you cannot get oh my god Seriously, guys. Oh um, my! Seriously, don't you know that ruling? If a synchro summon or XC summon was not summoned properly, if the summon was negated, you cannot monster reborn it, you cannot soul charge it, you cannot call the hunt in it, and you cannot bring it back with the sir. So, oh my God, these guys! Like this is how you get so high rated on DN. Like seriously, just cheat all day every day, and none of these guys even care. Like come on, it's a, it's not even that hard of a ruling, but <sighs> whatever. So people in the so Chinsy just quits, he just, yeah, well anyway, none of this should have even happened, I'm sorry, but that is, that's DN for you, that is literally DN, so hopefully next week we can get some, you know, better duels in with some better players that actually know simple rulings like that, but I mean, whatever, Chinsy totally just cheated there, could have not got that back, and yeah, so anyway. That's the duel. Thank you guys for watching, as always, and stay tuned for tomorrow when we have everyone's favorite segment, low-rated duelists. And that's all I gotta say. So, thank you guys for watching, as always, and until next time, this is Stew Dog signing out.